Fox News likes to do these interviews where they go to a diner because that's where real Americans are. I'm criticizing them, but everyone else in the media does this same thing. It's really frustrating. And they can normally expect that they're going to get a response to a question that reflects Fox News sort of ideology, but not always. And this time on climate change, they ran up against some truth. Jack is an info specialist and he really wants Howard Schultz to talk about climate change, specifically the Green New Deal, which you support. Why do you support it? Yeah, it's really important we keep below two degrees Celsius of average warming, otherwise the consequences are gonna be devastating. How do we pay for it? Yeah, how do we pay for World War II? At the end of the day, when something is this important, our economy is gonna suffer if we don't pay for it. Okay, but you do agree with the sentiment that this is as big a deal, climate change that is, as World War II. Yeah, I mean, for a little over 400,000 Americans died in World War II and climate change is killing 150,000 people per year at least. Okay, let's talk about the money because that's a huge part of this. How are we going to pay for it? Yeah, yeah, so uh, during World War II, for one thing, the government just pushed some of the cash up front and raised some tax on some folks. Uh, but at the end of the day, it stimulated the economy so much that everyone benefited. Okay, so to review, you are in favor of raising taxes in order to support the Green New Deal. If that's the optimal solution the economists sort out, I'll go with that. Jack, thank you for your time and finally, Thank you for your time, and I immediately I regret this a lot. Does so, he? What? No. Does he regret? I, I, I saw think so. that. I saw that floating around, and I was no, like, no, I, eh. I think he I know what you're opposed. saying. He he got what he wanted: raise taxes to pay for the Green New Deal. But what he didn't get was a wild-eyed hippie tree hugger. Like that guy was very. I I spend six percent of my waking moments talking about climate change, and his answers were better than mine would have been. And it like it sounded like he had prepared every single one of those responses. I thought he did a great job of arguing in the, in the in the historical context, similar to how AOC does. He seemed very reasonable. Eh. I will no? say this: look at the guy sitting next to him. Mm -hmm. um, that guy is visually representing the working class. Mm -hmm. He is a, a a guy in a vest and a hat and a flannel. And next to him is this uh, dude in a button down Banana Republic shirt and a fancy boy haircut. And I'm not saying that I believe this, but this is what you see when you're watching Fox News. And that person is quickly and crazily talking about this Green New Deal in World War II. Yeah, look, I do agree, especially the fact that he's young. It'll be easy for a lot of the stereotypical 68 year old Fox News viewers to sort of write it off. But there are, they are, I mean, they don't want to rely on just those people. And I think younger viewers will see that and think, he doesn't seem crazy. But you don't know who, who's, the, who's the Fox viewer. I think a younger viewer, you're saying, or an there's average? There's no viewer? younger Fox viewer. There's no, there's gotta be some. Yeah, but John, how many? How 10%. many younger, 10% of mm -hmm. the audience that's watching Fox News it's the future daytime? Of Fox News. Oh, yeah, daytime. So that's that's true. what I'm saying is like, that doesn't exist. I think the way you get through, to the Fox News viewer on the Green New Deal is you say, you know how your energy job is disappearing? Mm -hmm. We're gonna give you an energy job, that's it. They're gonna talk about all this other stuff, but we're just gonna encourage, the way we've been encouraging coal, we're gonna encourage other energy jobs. I think you're being unfair to Jack. I think he only got to respond to the questions that they asked him. I'm he not, brought up the economic stimulus. He did fine, he is who he is, he's doing, he's genuinely communicating his own ideas. I just think the messaging that works behind the Green New Deal is, listen, the Green New, the original New Deal worked for people. Mm -hmm. The Green New Deal will do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And we are going to back things that give you jobs. You can, climate change, you don't believe it, I don't need you to believe it, you don't need you to believe it. Mm -hmm. But you want a job, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna get you that job. That's okay, that it. seems reasonable. Okay, so everybody watching this, integrate his advice, go hang out in diners, and maybe you'll get to talk to, uh, is it Todd Pirro? And, and you deliver the message a little bit, a second draft, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, Jack 2020. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.